हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेलकम टू माय डिस्कशन ऑन डिस्टिलेशन दिस इज पार्ट नंबर सेवन इन पार्ट नंबर सिक्स आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिलेटिव वॉलेटिलिटी एंड इन दिस पार्ट आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ए न्यूमरिकल दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन रिलेटिव वॉलेटिलिटी आई होप यू हैव सीन माई अर्लियर वीडियोज ऑन डिस्टिलेशन for those of you who have not yet seen my earlier videos i am giving link to those my uh, link to those videos in the description section so let us begin to this discussion so let us first know what is the numerical statement vapor pressures of pure methanol and water at 30 degree celsius they are 21.83 kPa and 4.3 kPa respectively calculate the volatility of methanol relative to that of water also generate the ple data and plot the distribution diagram theek okay. hai so let us let us solve it first let us know what is given to us you have solution of methanol and water that is given to us let us denote methanol by a and water by b for simplicity so henceforth a will be methanol and b will be water and then at 30 degree celsius you have vapor pressures of the two components vapor pressure of methanol is more than that of water that's why we can easily conclude that uh, methanol is the more volatile component vapor pressure of methanol that is p n not s 21.83 kPa and vapor pressure of water that is p b not it is 4.23 kPa so whichever components has whichever component has highest vapor pressure that will be the more volatile component and in this case it is methanol theek hai so these are the given things uh what we have to do we have to calculate the volatility of methanol relative to water that is we have to calculate alpha ab then generate vapor liquid equilibrium data that is vle data that is we are going to find various values various xy values and then after getting those xy values we are going to plot those values so if you plot x versus y you get a diagram which will be the distribution diagram and from the name itself you, you, you can understand that this diagram is going to tell you how components are distributed how the more volatile component is distributed between vapor and liquid gases theek hai so let us go for the solution uh, volatility first let us find alpha ab first task we need to find volatility of methanol relative to water that is we have to find alpha ab uh we will assume methanol water solution to be ideal so that we can use uh alpha ab or we can calculate alpha ab by using this equation alpha is ab is equal to pa not divided by pb not so pa not is given to us pb not is given to us therefore alpha ab will be 21.83 pa not is 21.83 and pb not it is 4.23 so that gives us alpha ab as 4. Point, uh, sorry 5.16 so alpha ab for methanol water system at 30 degree celsius it is 5.16 now let us generate the data vapor liquid equilibrium data the equation to be used is i have talked about this equation in my previous video you please watch that you have this equation y is equal to alpha ab into x divided by 1 plus alpha ab minus 1 into x alpha ab we just calculated it is 5.16 now what we will do we will select various values of x those values are lying should lie between 0 and 1 because x can have 
minimum of zero or x can be as low as zero and as high as one, not beyond one, and not less than zero. So I am I'm, I'm going to select this value 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then one. So I have selected these values lying between 0 and 1. Now corresponding values of y will be calculated by using this equation. Alpha AB is known to one uh, is known to us that is we calculated it. Then for each value of x we will use this equation to get the corresponding value of y. Okay, so let us do it. You have this equation y is equal to alpha a b x divided by 1 plus alpha a b minus 1 into x. Alpha a b we calculated it is 5.16. So now for each value of x that we selected, we are going to find corresponding y value. For x is equal to 0, y will be 5.16 into 0 divided by 1 plus 5.1 minus 1 into 0. I have used this equation, you get 0. For x is equal to 0, y is also equal to 0. For the next value of x, x is equal to 0 0.1, y will be 5.16 into 0 0.1 divided by 5.16 minus 1 into 0 0.1, you get 0.36. Okay, so for x is equal to 0 0.1, y is 0 0.36. Okay, so with x 0 0.1 and y 0 0.36, 36 they are in equilibrium with each other similarly for other values of x you can get the corresponding values of y so i have calculated for x is equal to 0.2 it is 0.56 for x is equal to 0.3 it is 0.69 for x is equal to 0.4 it is 0.77 for x is equal to 0.5 uh, this comes out to be y is 0.84 Okay, then for the remaining values, x is equal to 0 0.6, uh, you get y as 0 0.89, then for x is equal to 0 0.7, you get y as 0 0.92, for x is equal to 0 0.8, you get y as 0 0.95, and for x is equal to 0 0.9, we get y is equal to 0 0.98. And for the last value of x, that is x is equal to 1, we will come to know that y will also be equal to 1. Okay, so after calculating all y values, let us collect. So you have different values, selected different values for x, 0.1, 0.2, so and so forth. And then we have got corresponding y values. Okay, so corresponding y values we have got so I am collecting all those values yes. so in this way you have this table where you have different values of x and then corresponding values of y so all x values will be in equilibrium with the corresponding y values so this table is basically the required BLE data Okay, now the task is we need to plot it. So we will be plotting uh, the distribution diagram. So you, you have this graph on an x-axis will be plotting x. On y-axis we will be plotting y. And if we go on plotting the data that we had generated, we will get a curve like this. And this curve is the distribution curve. Okay. So, for reference, if you draw the diagonal line, you will come to know that the distribution curve is lying above the diagonal line. That means for every value of x, y is greater. Y, y will be having a higher value. You take any value. So, for example, x is equal to 0.2, y is something like 0.56, whatever we got. What I mean to say is for every value of x, corresponding y will have a higher value. Okay. So with this, uh, in my discussion on uh, 
this numerical simple numerical on related relative volatility thanks for watching do subscribe to my youtube channel tell your friends to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for being with me have a nice day bye